Hey, Budget Reloader coming to you from upstate South Carolina. I got a uh, <clears throat> new toy. Actually, it's new to me, but it's, in fact, very old. This is a Lee Lodal shotgun press, believe it or not. It's uh, mostly plastic and aluminum with a, uh, I think the only steel is this handle and this little bar and the fasteners. And I got it mounted in my sturdy bench mount, quick mount. And uh, I'm filming with my iPhone and I got a little tripod and I'm going to have a little uh, motion here. I may not actually show you every step, um, but uh, I'm making uh, dummy shells. Um, and I think I've got it perfected now and just wanted to show you uh, the steps I can do now that I have this tool. So I, I pick up some, uh, you know, fairly good shape used hulls from the range. Um, the cheap stuff, low brass, doesn't matter. Um, and this has a, this is really crude. This has a little sizing ring, which I've already done. So you put this sizing ring on there, and I've already um, deprimed them. But anyway, you put them in this first station here with that ring and press the ring on it. And then move it to this station. And this is the priming station. And, and before you put the shell in there, you, when you have it down, you drop the primer in this hole, and it just... It just sits there, and you push it down, which pushes this ring down, and and primes the shell. Sorry about all the jittery camera work. So then you take that out. It's hard to do one-handed. And pop the ring off. And in this station here is where you load um, your powder and... Your shot through this funnel here um, so you put your powder in and then you could stick your wad in here and it guides the wad in the shell and then you put your shot on top and then you move it out of this station over here and you line up one of the previous creases with this little kind of index line you probably can't see uh, and it uh, it puts a nice little pre crimp to it and then you move it around to the uh, the back station Let's see if I can do that alright ah, this isn't working okay and then that pushes the crimp down and voila you get you know something that looks like that so nice factory crimp you got a nice shoulder here for chambering and I put a little spot of uh, hot glue there but I'm actually not sure I need it and you got to get the uh, the paper and the in the BB amount just right to get that nice crimp and then I put a little hot glue in the back and trim that for the uh, cushion for the primer so I use a little um, kind of a guide stick and like I say I just use uh, confetti stuff the shell with this stick up to that line and that's an inch and five eighths believe it or not and that's what works with two and three quarter shells and then I fill the BBs up just to about this line right here where the folds occur because this will actually compress and push it down and kind of form that nice recessed crimp that gives you a nice round edge there that'll chamber properly in your shotgun so my brother uh, gave me this Lee Lodal Jr. he has a Mech 600 he bought this in the late 70s for I think uh, 12 bucks there's actually the receipt in the box that he sent me unbelievable and they don't make it anymore and he's got all the parts to it and, and everything works and is functioning. This thing is uh, probably a lot older than some of you watching these, these videos. So that's my, uh, my latest uh, tip and toy in 
dummy shotgun shell loading. Thanks. Please subscribe and like.